We gotta go walk around Let and go. look for clues. Uh, we don't need no elevator, baby. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help, I'm stuck. Help, I'm stuck. Ah! <laughs> we gotta go this way. It looks like... Oh, we must talk to... Who are you? Uh, promoter. Oh, yo, what's he promoting? What's he promoting, though? Uh, there's uh? no way to send it all out. Maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. A bro does not even know that I am here. He has no idea that I am here. Uh, who are you? <laughs> seen you before and you don't look like a fellow convict yeah he looks too fancy to be a convict he's dressed so so dapper uh, I, i'm not of course i'm not please don't mistake me for a criminal i'm a good he's a good boy citizen. he's a good wholesome boy never breaks the law family friendly loves jesus then what are you doing here you sure seem anxious about something. Yeah, what's going on? Do we need to help this guy promote a product? I will take it. Can he sponsor me? I will take a sponsorship. Yes, please. I'm a promoter for Fontico, and I'm usually responsible for promoting Sign me up. our drink products. Sign me up. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've my rate is one k per minute. One thousand dollars a minute. Sign me up. <laughs> oh, a promoter from Fontico. So, what kind of problem did you run into? Is Fontico? It kind of sounds like 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 a soda company or something. Ugh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that hey. Duke. Hey, you watch your mouth. You watch your mouth when you're talking about my husbando there, okay, buddy? After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, I don't like he that told tone. Outright that my project was worthless. <laughs> damn, he just put this guy in the dirt. Damn. Hey, yo, that's what we love. That's what we love about our husband. That's what we love about our husband. He just tells it like it is. However, in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still mm. tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. Listen, brother. I don't. I hate to break it to you, but your product sucks. All right, Rizzy would not cut you off like that if your product was good. Your product is ass. Go fix it. Come back. Make it better. And then maybe we'll have a deal. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. <laughs> Is he gonna do an impersonation? And say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. <laughs> we love her husband. It seems you don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, <laughs> nor do you understand the value of your own product. Wait on the law. The former is because you are from the overworld. <laughs> That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. Oh, oh my God. I love Rizzy even more now. I love him even more. As if that were even possible. I can't believe I love him more, but I but do. as for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, <laughs> so breathtakingly stupid, <laughs> that they were completely ignorant of the value Damn! of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Oh. Let's just forget it. Holy damn! Risley really put the nail in the coffin! I like how he had to include stupid twice. Monumentally stupid, but also breathtakingly stupid. This guy is so stupid that he stole Risley's breath from his lungs. <sighs> anyway, that's how he rejected my proposal. <laughs> asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? I mean, listen, if Rizzly said that the idea sucks, then the idea sucks, my guy. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, well, he is the head honcho. He's the head honcho. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Uh-huh, uh-huh, and also exceedingly handsome. Fine, fine. I know, I should just let it go. I'm on his turf, after all. His house, his rules. Yeah, listen, dude, you are a speck of dust compared to the brilliance that is his grace. Risley. Uh, the Fonta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. The Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of coupons will spend them on Fonta. And the Duke is right because the Duke is the Duke and the Duke is his grace and we do not question the authority of his grace in this household. But also, it kind of sounds like he genuinely doesn't understand that th there's like a different system here. Like credit coupons, it's not the same as real world money. And it sounds like the promoter doesn't quite get that. Like real talk, though. All right. Well, 
It was nice talking. Okay, I feel a little bit bad. He looks pretty dejected. He looks pretty dejected. Oi. Oh, okay. That's rough, buddy. That's rough, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the Duke was so harsh, but listen, he's a busy man. He's a busy man. Sometimes he has to make snap decisions like that. Just, just do better next time, forehead. Okay. We need to talk to... Who do we need to talk to next? I feel like I'm kind of taking up a lot of the screen. Hold on. I'm going to make myself a little smaller. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. There should be like a rock metal cover of that secret tunnel song from Avatar The Last Airbender. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Oh, hello, Collins. Wonderful weather we're having today in the Fortress I, of Meripede where there is I no weather. You crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support the fighters, fools. didn't you? Well, you mad lads. Did anything happen? You sick freaks. <laughs> Actually, no. So far, so good. Well, the next day we received a mysterious package. Oh yeah, that's right. Any sense of the contents. Yeah, we just we just received a bottle of blood. But aside from that, we're great. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Well, are you both still okay? Questionable. Wait, are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? You know what? I'm not actually sure. Is this real life? I feel like I lost my mind. Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you huh? think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? What if Suki is not Suki and Paimon is not Paimon, but what if Paimon is Suki and Suki is Paimon? <gasps> oh, okay. Well, that's good. Oh, okay. I guess we're still ourselves. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, oh God. Man, someone pinch me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. <laughs> but I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Bro, why do I feel like he just low-key flamed me? <laughs> like, yup. Still as dumb as ever. <laughs> still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. Could actually throw oh away yeah like that we're just, just crazy and stupid enough to do it you know what as a matter of fact i think i'm gonna do it again even if we bought tickets like everybody else it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons we are off of our rockers and we're gonna do it again when it comes to things like this it's always the organizer who makes the real profits hey yo paimon does know what she's talking about though you're not wrong my girl you're not hey, wrong just what are you trying to imply <laughs> the pancreation ring is an honest business and we really don't make much from selling tickets we are an honest good wholesome business ma'am we make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of fanta oh wait really oh snap then maybe we do need to be the middlemen who work out a good deal with the fanta promoter ah man we're gonna have to help that guy aren't we oh so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the event? Mm. I thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Ah, okay. Interesting. We're learning a little bit more about the inner workings and the structure of the Fortress of Meripede. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. Mm. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the Fortress of Meripede. Okay, okay. I mean, honestly, like, to be honest, that actually is kind of smart. Like, you just become the only vendor of drinks in a very large-scale prison? Might actually be a good business decision, to be honest. I understand. Uh, anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Colin, yes, Colin. Uh, according to Collins, the pr the the pancreas tournament uh only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want a return on their investment as well. Okay, got it. The information is entering my brain and I am absorbing it like a sponge. All right, what else do we have to do? What else do we need to do? We need to try to move about freely and gather clues regarding the strange blood-colored liquid. Uh, uh, let's talk to Rusimov and see if he has a clue for us. Uh, have you come to the ring to work up a sweat to respect y'all respect, brother? But listen, I'm actually too much of a menace to society to allow in the ring. They won't let me in there. They won't let me in there because they know that I'm going to murder everybody in cold freaking blood. I'm not going to feel a goddamn thing. Um, <laughs> about the Fortress of Meripede. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> kind of went off on a tangent there. Uh, about pancreation. It's a very healthy sport. Not if I'm in the ring. I don't see the objective in this area. <laughs> um, am I blunt? Maybe I gotta go on the stage. That would be intelligent. Maybe I should look up on the stage. Oh, it was hiding. It was hiding. Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Yeah, what are happened here? Forms or something? Someone like chuck this thing against the wall or something? Why is it all broken? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the font 
Eco symbol. Damn, they are hard advertising. Maybe some flyers from the company. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? But we are trying to steal the company's secrets. We are going to become the main producer of drinks in the Fortress of Meripede from now on. We're going to start a business, Paimon. Uh, what are you afraid of? We're already convicted. That's true. I mean, we are already in prison. <laughs> I can't get much worse than this. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have mm -hmm. a look here. Let's have a look see. From the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow. And oh. some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. Oh. Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't know why I forgot about this, but Fonta is the stuff that almost killed Navia. I completely forgot. That was like the tea that she was drinking. And then someone like spiked her tea. And then she almost died if it weren't for Paimon's gluttony. That's right. That's what Fonta is. I was like, where have we heard this before? We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials. Interesting. Without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. Yo, is the blood juice that we got, is that like a bottle of Fanta? We have decided to only conduct closed small scale trials for the time being. Interesting. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. The company is just trying to develop some hmm. new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Are we the guinea pigs? Are we like the test subjects for their new products? Yeah, low-key? Low-key, I feel like that might be the case. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, good. Ah, oh, perfect. Yeah, they'll never suspect a thing. Not like there's two people present in the arena who can totally see us right now. Um, new products under development. Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of an as yet unnamed and unpackaged product. The product has to undergo a trial because even Fanta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. That is very suspicious. That is very suspicious. And it makes me wonder if maybe that might tie into some of the disappearances. I gotta look for more clues, bro. I haven't found them all yet. Boy! But I found so many. I'm not done. Oh, we have to go back to the cafeteria. Back to the cafeteria. My buddy boy is such a good boy, dude. I lo This is my favorite part of the Fortress of Meripede. I love this boy. I love this boy. He just cleans and cleans and cleans that one spot. And that's all he does. And he doesn't even realize that there's other things that he could be doing in life. But he's doing his job and he's happy about it. And he's living his best life. And I love that for him. Anyways, I'm going to eat lunch now. <laughs> huh. We ended up here without even thinking about it. Want to grab something to eat? Oh, is it going to be the bad lunch, or is it going to be the good lunch? Let's end the shift. All right. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Let's give him a name. You know what? We should give him a name just so that we can, like, reference him every time that we see him. I'm going to name him Melvin. His name's going to be Melvin. You get him, Melvin. You clean that spot, Melvin. We got the bad meal. Ooh, it looks That's what we get for betting on oh, both Prankration ring now. fighters. What would you like to do this afternoon? Br literally? Okay, I, I literally feel like I'm just reliving the same day over and over again. Oh my god, when does it end? When does it end? Uh, let's go. Let's go investigate, I guess. That will progress us forward, surely, right? Uh, I don't think there are any more clues to be f- Aw, oh, man! No more clues! Well, I guess in that case, I'll go bet on two fighters again and break more rules. Do things at the pen ring now, but just playing the same game over and over? It's getting kind of tiring. I mean, you're not the one doing it, Paimon. It's all me and my three brain cells doing all the work. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe there's yeah. another way? Lower the difficulty a little. You know, so we can just breeze through each level. But, yo, we do not need the difficulty lowered, man. If anything, we need the difficulty uppered, okay? I've gotten it first try every time. 
What is there just gonna be like one freaking glove that punches up now? Good, good God, good golly, gosh darn. Okay. A mysterious box. Oh. A bottle of crimson liquid. Hmm. Oh, still doesn't know what to make of it. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. I'm still wondering. I mean, I think we should have tasted it. Like I said, I think we should have tasted the weird red liquid. What's the worst that could have happened? Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I think I've got something, but it's not related to child, darn it. Really? Huh. Then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler. Good night, Paimon. See you in the morning. Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Do it. Does, does the story progress now? Okay. Can I stop We've working every day? Two oh. of the hidden rules. Oh, Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. Yeah, there's on. a lot of weird happenings in this prison. It's not normal. It's not normal. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation. Otherwise, we'll never get anywhere. Yeah, let's spend some coupons to skip skip our shifts so we can go investigate. Yeah, let's skip work for now. And Nancy Drew is on the case, baby. Okay, yo, let's go. Okay. Get up and talk to Paimon. Okay, I'm up. Where's Paimon? Oh, oh, we did that already. Okay. Uh, Continue asking around for clues. Boy. I just want to get to the part where I go on another dinner date with Rizzly. When does that happen? If I break enough rules, will will Rizzly come and punish me? <laughs> hey, isn't that V-Doc over there? <gasps> oh, V-Doc. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? Wait, YouTube? You YouTube, who's V-Doc again? I forgot. I forgot. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scope him out. Who are you again? Oh, he's the guy from the cafeteria. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, can I, can I talk to you? Hey, uh, <laughs> let me, uh, let me, uh, slip you a credit coupon. Wink, wink. <laughs> ah, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a I lot have. of credit coupons. I have, I have. Oh, baby, well, I am rich now. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things About around here. About that info. My goal is to become the next Duke. Yo! Now we're talking. Yeah, my goal is actually to become uh, is actually to become the Duchess. Um, and Rizzly can still be the Duke. The goal is to riz up Rizzly enough that he wants to marry me. Impressive. Very Thank you. I have lofty impressive. ambitions. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Yeah, I got, uh, I can give you, like, uh, five credit coupons or something. Mm. How's that? Good deal? If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, yo, we're about to get some juicy details. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production oh. zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. Ah, uh -huh. oh, yo, let's go. We're going to get the juicy deets. We get it. Just tell us already. Spill the beans, Vidoc! Give us the sauce! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Uh-huh. Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, uh. you might find something even more terrible there. Wait! Yo, that's so cryptic! You can't just say that and not explain it! What do you mean? Uh, that sounds that sounds so sinister! Something even more terrible? Uh. Like what? Uh... A group of cannibals. Oh! Oh! Cannibals? In the cannibals? What? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. What the f- What? Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. Bro, is this a fever dream? What? There's just a group of cannibals in the fortress of Meripede? And they have, like, monthly meetings? <laughs> Yo, monthly cannibal society meeting. Uh, next month, the 2nd, 12.30 a.m. See you there by the pipes. <laughs> but what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have uh, ways to transform them into other forms uh, and keep them in the fortress forever. <laughs> Yo, bro, what? This is so dark. This is so dark. What? Uh, Paimon might already know what you mean. Paimon's not feeling so good. So that's what's going on here. 
Oh, oh my god. My stomach doesn't feel so good. Oh boy, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. What? Uh, there's still a chance that what we saw isn't connected to cannibals. Is that really true? That's, that's crazy. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. Uh. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets. I mean, you just said something pretty, pretty freaking out there. I think I have a right to be a little bit skeptical. Oh my god. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Holy dude! He's just gonna drop that bombshell and then dip? That's it? Huh? <laughs> Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't oh, want man. her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Uh, do you really think cannibals could take me in a fight? Okay, true, dude. I would actually kick their asses, though. Oh, I would kick their asses. So that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Yeah, dude, ain't no cannibals gonna be rolling up on my ass, okay? If they, they come out, they gonna try to kick my ass, but no, I gonna kick their ass. Oh, when will all the secrets end? Okay, but this is wild, though. Oh, my God. I can't even believe, like, of all the things that I thought Vidoc was going to say, that was definitely not one of them. <laughs> Cannibals was, like, the last thing I thought we were going to touch on in this story. But as it turns out, there is a cannibal society within the Fortress of Meripede, and they have monthly meetings by the pipes at night. It doesn't really get any wilder than that. <laughs> the scenery is wonderful. That was definitely not on my bingo Surely card. Enough to convince okay, to now we have to t uh, return and investigate. Again. You're going to more to investigate. Vidoc isn't here, but the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them. Portier. Portier. Hello, Portier. <laughs> I like your fancy glasses. Just stay away from me. Uh, bish! I, I, all I did was breathe! I just breathed in your vicinity and you're gonna tell me to stay away from you? That is just rude. That is just rude behavior. You know what, Poirier? I'm gonna freaking, I'm gonna fuck up your shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess you up. You see that, Poirier? Get in my way again? That's gonna be you on the slicer, all right, anyways. Alexis, hello, Alexis. What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Uh. Uh. Oh. 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 Am I trying to ask them about the cannibals? Okay, I guess I kind of understand his reaction now. Oh, okay. I mean, okay, it makes a little more sense why they're reacting this way now. Am I just literally dropping the bomb about cannibals just casually? What are you talking about? Uh. Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. I actually prefer to keep my nose right in everybody's business. Thank you very much. But I will keep that advice in mind for the future. <laughs> hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. Yeah, it seems like they might be hiding something. Could they be connected to the cannibals? Yo, wait, maybe they are the cannibals. You can't trust anybody in this fortress, man. Trust no one. But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Exactly. Exactly, Paimon. They're trying to lure us in so that they can cannibalize us. Don't fall for it. Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. Let's approach it from a different angle. Yeah, that was like that was like a very 180 degree kind of aggressive approach that we took. Maybe we should try like a 90 degree angle so instead. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Or maybe something okay, a little bit more acute like a 30 so. degree angle would maybe be better. Uh, ask the guard at the dormitories. Doror or dormitories. Time to go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Would you see me make that jump? Yo, she got the hops. She got the hops, though. Damn, Kazuha. This is why Kazuha's best boy. Oh, is this is that Fielding? Hello, Fielding. I have. I would like to ask you. Um, what's your hot take on cannibalism? Hello, Fielding. Hello, Fielding. Uh, what do you hot want? takes on cannibalism? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. Um, I actually don't. <laughs> what do you mean? We just want to ask you a simple question. Uh huh. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? What if? Wait. What if he's in on it? What if Fielding is in on it? He is the one that delivered the package to us. Why are you asking about something like that? Oh. Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. He seems very defensive, too. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Yo, that was kind of a defensive answer. Uh, well... 
I think we've got enough information just based off of that answer. Um, we hear strange noises at night. Yeah, let's let's say that. Uh, right. We heard it happens a few times every month. This sounds Plenty very like mild. Ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. <laughs> my, my ears are so sensitive. Really? My tiny baby ears. I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. Okay. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. Oh, oh god. Has anybody, uh, has anybody ever disappeared when they were on a shift during the pipe cleaning days? So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? And they just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. Oh, man. Oh, God. That, uh, oh, oh, man. Oh, God. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled oh. days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want. Oh. And if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Ayo! Let's go to the cannibal meeting! Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Yo, let's go! Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. Ears out for cannibalism, I boys! I try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. They're always watching you, Wazowski! Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? It certainly does sound suspicious! Certainly does sound suspicious! Um, those might be the days when the cannibals are active, um, but it might also be nothing, just the pipes being cleaned. I think that those are the cannibal days. Right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning Well, night. then we are in luck, aren't we, Paimon? I guess we're just gonna have to go investigate ourselves! No reason not to find out the truth for it. Oh my god, Paimon is gonna lose her absolute mind when I say this. Paimon knew you would say that. Uh. <laughs> Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight, then. Dang, she took it better than I thought. I just hope the guards don't catch us. I thought Paimon was gonna just, like, pass out, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Alright. Rest, and then we attend the cannibal meeting. We move at 12 a.m. on the dot for the cannibal meeting. And then what we are going to do is we are going to cannibalize the cannibals, and then they will no longer be able to cannibalize anyone else. We gotta take one for the team, baby. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. Mm -hmm. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. Yep. Uh, we, sh we just need to wait until everyone else has fallen asleep. If we miss our chance tonight, it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. Yeah, we can't miss this opportunity. This is important. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. I look like I'm about to fall asleep. Wake up, Lumine! Look alive! We've got a mission! Huh? Oh. Traveler, did you fall asleep already? Did I drink the juju? Did I drink the weird font of juju? What's happening to me? <gasps> my husband is calling to me. My husband is tapping into our psychic connection. Oh. Oh. What's he running from? Yeah, what, what's he running from? Wait, that's that that's our that's our that's our like work guy, right? That's the guy or uh maybe maybe not, maybe not. I thought that I thought that was our boss. Oh no no, just a random dude. Okay. What are you doing, child? What are you doing, my boy? He's sneaking. Oh, oh yo, those those are the workers that we talked to. Are those the cannibals? Something is calling me. I have to go. And we keep hearing like a whale in the background. At least it sounds like a whale. I'm assuming it's a whale because that's like part of child's lore. But I don't know why. Fine, wake up. I was just taking a quick nap, Paimon, okay? I had to I had to tap into the psychic connection between my husband and I. I saw child in my dream again. Oh, it looked like you were just peacefully sleeping to Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Child escaped via the pipes. Yeah, that's interesting, because it sounded like the pipes were kind of really? sus. So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. But what about the cannibal?
cannibals. How do you explain them? Yeah, that was interesting because it seemed like those three guys, I mean, I would assume that maybe those three guys are like the quote unquote cannibals because they were meeting in front of the pipes, but maybe not. Um, I'm sure we'll find out soon enough okay. though. Well, it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Oh boy, I gotta be sneaky. Oh, I know, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. All right, okay, here we go. We gotta sneak. We gotta be real sneaky. Time to go. Okay, my footsteps are so loud. Walk quieter, Kazuha here. Shh, we gotta be quiet. Oh my god, I'm so loud. Careful, we'll get in trouble if the guards catch us. Okay, we're gonna go hey, the long this way. way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? Paimon, there is a method to my madness, okay? Just trust me. I'm going the long way around because there's boyos everywhere that... Okay, maybe maybe this isn't the right way. <laughs> hey, not this way. We need to get to that pipe, remember? I'm, 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 on, I'm trying, okay? There's guards everywhere. I don't know which way to go. I'm confused. Do I need to go down at all? I just need to go across. Okay, well, like, listen. It's Check out these moves. awesome moves, okay? Ain't no way they gonna see me if I'm doing like this, right? <laughs> Shh, I'm so sneaky. Oh, I am so sneakerific. Look at me go. I'm so sneaky. Kazuha, best boy. This is why I pledge my allegiance to the United States hey, of Kazuha. Not this way. We need to get I'm that pipe, going remember? to the pipe. Calm hey, down, woman. Pipe. Jesus Christ. Golly. Like I said, there is a method to my madness. Oh. <gasps> there they are. Oh, you? I'm not even going to try to, like, eavesdrop or anything. I'm just going right in. Okay. All right. I'm just going to insert myself into the cannibal meeting. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? Oh, I know who you are. I know who you are. Do you, you know who I am? Know. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. Enough with the theatrics, idiots. What'd you say? You heard me. All those rumors about cannibals and hidden rules? Yeah. <laughs> so what if they were? I'm on to you, you buckos. We can make those rumors a reality at any You know what time. else I can make a reality? Murdering you in cold freaking blood right here with my bare fists. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, uh, go back to the dormitories, and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never uh, showed up Oh, Leonide, you know I can't do that. You know I can't do that. I didn't come all this way just to turn around. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Hey, I don't think you know who I am, okay? I don't think you know who I am. I am the God-given savior of this world. Uh, there's something calling me. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? <laughs> Wait, these are like, these are like child's boyos. Hey, do you know our boss? Ah, child! Yes, that is my husband. Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. Oh, he's a very big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. He's a very big deal in my heart. So did he have you come here to find us? Uh, actually, I am here to find him is what I'm actually here oh, to do. So your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I am, uh, yeah, I, I won't tell them that I'm his wife yet. That might be a little bit too much information. I don't want to make them feel bad for being so rude to me. I'll just say that I'm a friend of his. We're the only ones I'm going to friend zone myself to spare their feelings. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that. Ah, uh, well, the thing is, I kind of have like a psychic connection to him <laughs> through his vision. You know what I mean? All yeah. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Nice! We're in! Wow! Those dreams of yours sure come in handy! Good stuff, Lumine. Good stuff. I gave him the business for a while, and I always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Meripede. Mmm! But here in the Fortress, the strong will always earn respect. And Child is very strong! He's working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! You could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. <laughs> Oh my god, this makes him shrimp for this makes me shrimp for him even harder. <laughs> so eventually, we all decided to follow him. Damn, he's got like three dedicated followers. Let's go, child. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, mm. no matter the cost. 
He said it was because he heard that call. He again. heard that call again. Is it? It's got. It's, I'm assuming it must be the abyss, right? And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. Because he keeps hearing. It seems like the whale sound keeps playing whenever we like dream about child. And wasn't the whale like part of when he fell into the abyss? So is the abyss calling? So. We got to work and use the hidden rules that mm. were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. Oh, interesting. Yo, yeah, Child was just like, the abyss is calling and I must answer. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night. Oh, yo, dedicated boyos. What a nice group of dedicated boyos. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, mm. prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit uh, people's fear of the unknown. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. I was like, ain't no way Genshin is gonna be, like, actually treading into cannibalism territory. <laughs> that would be freaking wild. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Or is he still here somewhere? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. Uh, it should be a dead end. Oh, but he didn't come back. <gasps> it leads to an abandoned factory area. And even if there were a way to escape from there into oh. the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. Well, if you have like an abyss whale to guide you to the surface, then maybe. But boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. Oh, this is so interesting, man. I cannot wait to unpack what's happening to Child in a little bit more depth because this is so interesting. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. Dang. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for nighttime on a pipe cleaning day. Oh. That way we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. Wait, wait, is he coming back? And wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Oh, they are loyal. They are loyal and they are dedicated. Yeah, but it's been so long now. I oh. already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Oh, really? Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? I feel like we have to follow the pipe and, and see for ourselves. Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They know what they're talking about. They know. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. We want to go to the spot where he left. Yeah, I want to go. All right. Keep quiet and follow us. Okay, I'll be very, very quiet. I'll be very, very sneaky. Kind of tough to be sneaky because I got dinosaur stompy feet, but I'll try to be as quiet as I possibly can. Shh, Kazuha, you're making too much noise. You're too loud. Your stompy feet are too loud, Kazuha. Oh? The way up from here has been sealed off. It's okay. impossible to get through. Uh, I mean, you say impossible, but have you seen my left hook? <laughs> Boss left by going down from here. Oh. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. That's okay. We can, like, basically breathe underwater. No, no Later, problem there. We came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. That's all right. We got we got those uh, fontaine powers. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. I am an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Slap my knees and call me an extremely skilled diver. I'm ready to go. Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Really? Then have him come investigate. Pronto. It's me. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's Suki. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards. Oh yeah, that's right. We from Fremine. I forgot that Fremine is here. I bet she's. I bet we're talking about Fremine. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going. That's right. We haven't even talked to Fremine yet, but Linny said that Fremine is here too. So Fremine could. Oh, ho, ho! oh, I'm excited. Sleep. <sighs> we finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. I finally did. Oh my god, dude. I thought I was going to be stuck working and praying crationing for like at least 10 more days the way that we were going. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, mm. right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Yep, that's true. Linny, Linny is just like bending over backwards. Linny is bending over backwards to make us forgive him. Ugh. Why is Child 
like this. <laughs> what was he doing going into the pipes? <laughs> Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Yeah, I hope he's okay. I feel like Child is pretty self-sufficient, so I feel like he's probably fine. But I don't know if he's completely fine in the sense that there is so like, there is definitely something going on with his mental state that is that seems a bit sinister. So I guess we'll probably unpack that a little bit more as the quest continues. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Oh, and I cannot wait to find out what really happened. I am so excited. Now that we can finally relax, I'm on starting to feel super sleepy. Oh, let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Nighty night, Pamo! See you in the morning! <gasps> oh, is it time for Act 4? Uh, it's morning already. Oh, oh. Everyone still needs more sleep. Uh, let's use some coupons to skip the shift. Yeah, I don't want to work, man. Huh? I don't want to work. Wait, Screw it. There. Isn't that huh? It's one of Lady's <gasps> Oh, perfect timing. Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard. But today is the monthly free day. Oh! Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect oh, time to do Oh! Yo, some that's perfect! Because we were just gonna ask you if Fremenay could do some diving for us. Please let Fremenay be okay, though. Fremenay is a good boy. I don't want to get him involved in anything sinister or dangerous. Just let him be okay. But if we could borrow him, that would be it's fantastic. It's been a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? It's been Let's a while since we last spot spoke. In the factory area before lunchtime. Mm. We have new information. We also have some new information Ooh, to share with you. Day. We have the day off. Yo, thank goodness, man. This whole work thing. Whew. From Not the enjoying it. has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm a very talented widget maker and all, but I feel like my talents are better used towards other things like investigating the disappearance of my husband. Hmm. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, act four, let's go! Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Alrighty, now that concludes Act 3, but do not worry, we will be back again very, very soon for Act 4. I am so, so excited to finish this quest. Like I said, I love Fontaine, and I cannot wait to continue playing through this story. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the playthroughs so far. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like, comment down below with any thoughts that you would like to share, and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to Rune, thank you so, so much for being a channel member. I really do appreciate it and thank you everybody so so much for watching i will see you all in the next one suki signing off Bye.